Are you feeling disconnected from your wife? Or maybe you're going through a divorce or a separation and you're wondering what it's going to take to save your marriage. Well, brother, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to be giving you the five tips to reconnect with your wife. Now, if we haven't met each other before, my name's Luke Finn, and I'm the founder of The Arc System, a system which has helped hundreds of dads avoid divorce and reconnect with their wife. Now, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and smash the bell button to be notified each Tuesday when I release a new video. And make sure to stick around to the end of this video to get the opportunity to enroll in my free maths class. In the maths class, I'll be covering the secret to reconciling that no one else is talking about and the four steps you need to take for her to see your change. Now, with all that being said, let's dive right in. This video is the first video in a two-part series. Today, I'm going to be covering the five tips to reconnect with your wife when you're the nice guy. In the next video, I'll be covering how to reconnect with your wife when you're the ice guy. Now, if you're not sure whether you're the nice or the ice guy, I'll link up a training above so you can go identify which guy you are. So as a nice guy, the first thing you need to do when your wife checks out of the marriage and you want to reconnect with her is you got to detach and pull back. Brother, it's literally taken her years to get to this point where she says she doesn't see a future. Just relax. There is a way to move forward and reconcile with your wife, but it's not what you've been doing so far. So the first thing you need to do is you just got to accept her decision. It's taken her a long time to get here. Don't fight it. You know, you think it's a good idea to tell her you're fighting for the marriage. No, it's not. She just feels like you don't understand her. You're not listening to her. Accept her decision and follow the steps I'm about to lay out now uh, to go and reconcile. And process your emotions. You know, this you didn't see this coming. It's a really tough time. You're going through a storm. You got all these emotions coming up like panic, sadness, anger, resentment. You got to process these because if you don't process them, they're going to pop up and sabotage the reconciliation process. So you need to let them go. Now, the good thing is I cover the most holistic approach to eradicating uh, these emotions, processing these emotions in my masterclass. So stick around to the end to learn how to process your emotions. And what you need to do is you need to find a support system. Nobody needs to go this alone, right? It's a big thing. And there's so many men going through what you're going through at the moment. So relax. You're in the right place. Go, go find somebody. Maybe it's a really close friend who you know you can trust and confide in. They're not going to talk to anybody else. Don't speak to your f a family member because usually they can take sides. Um, and that just adds more you know, drama to a situation that's already difficult. Or alternatively, if you don't have somebody close by or you want more support, by all means, jo join my marriage support group for dads. It's a free Facebook group filled with a wonderful community of dads committed to saving the marriage. I'll, I'll link that down below and you can join there. The second thing you need to do is you need to reframe your position. Instead of saying, look, uh, I'm fighting for this marriage no matter what, I'm not giving up. That's not what you want to do. That just comes across as weak and needy and like you don't understand it. You need to reframe your position, letting her know where you stand, okay? And the first thing you do is let her know that you're focusing on yourself. So, hey, I, I'm, I'm working on myself now regardless. So you're not working on yourself to go save your marriage. You're working on yourself regardless if she needs you, you're available at any point, but you're just not going to be reaching out to her anymore as much as off, uh, as usual. And let her know that this has been a big shock. And brother, it should be. This is a big shock. Your trust has also been broken. You, when you said yes to her, you really meant till death do us part for, through thick and thin, through good times and bad times. And now she said she's done. Okay. So trust has been broken also on your side from, from her. So you need to let her know that, look, this has been a big shock. I don't know what I want to do. I have to consider who, you know, how I see my future. Do not keep saying you're going to fight for the marriage. This is the worst thing you can, you can do. Let her know you just don't know. You don't need to tell her you don't see a future with her because that's a lie. You want to reconcile. But just let her know you're not sure what you want to do with your future because this has been a big shock. And then you need to <clears throat> let her know that you're committed to working on yourself <clears throat> because you don't want the same issues to come up in future relationships. And this should be the truth, brother. So if you follow my process, you're going to reconcile with your wife when you apply the ARC system. But at the moment, you're like, okay, when you're speaking to her, you need to let her know that you're doing this regardless, okay? And the best way to do this is to say, moving forward, that you want to become the best version of yourself because you don't want to go through this again. You don't want to have to experience this. This is a painful situation you're going through with your wife. Why would you ever want to go through this again? Whether you reconcile or not, you need to eradicate these problems in, in, your, in how you're showing up in the marriage. The, the issues you've had in your marriage it, um, will come up again in another relationship. The solution is never to just go change relationship unless there's been serious issues in the relationship, a toxic relationship where there's been abuse. Um, then, of course, you need to get out of that. 
But if you love your wife and you've been in a relatively so a healthy relationship, I think I'll need to do another training on what a healthy relationship looks like. But if you've been in that relationship where it's healthy um, and you love her and you just know, okay, there's just been mistakes made and you want to save your marriage, then you need to follow this and let her know that you're committed to working on yourself because you do not want to have this happen in the future, whether it's with her or with someone else. Really, really important. And by reframing your position, she starts thinking, oh, wow, John is now going to work on himself regardless. And this should be the way you want to do this. Like you should take this, the issues that you're having in your marriage as a wake up call. These are stuff that you needed to work on in the past. And now it's just an opportunity to work on now. So see, this is a wonderful opportunity for growth, right? And also to deepen the relationship and intimacy in your, in your marriage. So very important. You got to reframe your position. You're no longer chasing after the marriage. You're no longer fighting for, for the marriage. You're focusing on yourself. And then you need to, so the third step here is you need to show tough love. If you're the nice guy, I guarantee you, you've been like, um, you've been a bit of a doormat. Sorry, you've been a doormat. She's been just treating you badly uh, and you're like chasing after her and like, oh, don't worry, I'll do whatever you want. And what do you need from me? I'll look after the kids more. And that is just, you're, you're, you're watering yourself down. That's not who you are. Um, the way to reconcile with your wife and the way to reconnect with her when you're the nice guy is you got to show some tough love, which means you're not going to take shit. Don't be that mat that she's going to walk all over. So you can do this by calling her out on toxic behavior. If she is not, if she's making promises and she's not sticking to them, she's breaking, so she's lying or she's breaking promises, you need to call her out on it. If she's letting the kids down, because you'll start to notice when your wife checks out of the marriage, she starts acting completely different. You won't recognize her. And she'll start acting in a way that you, you, you're like, that's just not my wife, right? And you need to call her out on this toxic behavior. You don't just let this roll because you don't want to rock the boat. You need to go and rock the boat. And what's really important here is don't go into the friend zone. I've seen so many guys reaching out to me on social media like, oh, wow, she's talking to me. Or maybe she's been having an affair. And they're like, oh, she's talking to me about this, her boyfriend that she's seeing now. And it's good that we're connecting. No, you're her husband. You, it's none of your business. You don't want to know. If she starts bringing up uh, her, her boyfriend or whatever is going on, so if she's having an affair, just like, I'm sorry, who do you think you're speaking to? I have no interest in hearing about your, your, your relationship, right? This is really important. Going into the friend zone just makes it more difficult to reconcile. You don't want to do this. Now, if you want to know a way of how to call her out in this toxic behavior uh, in the most effective manner, then check down below. I'm going to link the communication guide where I teach you seven steps on how to bring up these subjects and use tough love effectively. Now the fourth step to the fourth tip to uh, reconnect uh, with your wife. And this is really important guys. I'm, as I go through these, these uh, tips, these are chronological. You don't want to skip, go from one or start off at three and go back to one. You need to go one, two, three, four, five, really, really important. If you do it in the wrong order, it won't work. So once you've, once you've pulled back and you've detached and now you're, you're, you've, um, you're, you're now calling, calling her out on her toxic behavior, right? You're raising that bar in the relationship. The fourth step, what you need to do here is you need to rebuild the emotional safety. And guys, really important when you're the nice guy, it can be very easy to panic, right? You've got all these emotions and she starts getting angry and you're like, oh my God, you know, I don't want her to be getting angry. Relax, man. When she's getting angry, this is a great, she's venting. You, it's okay for her to vent. And what I, what's really important, if you're going to take away one thing from this video today, I want you to remember the words that come out of somebody's mouth or the words that come out of your wife's mouth, mouth reflects more about her mental state and how she's doing ever than what it says about you. And this is the truth about everyone, right? Only, the only thing you learn about when somebody opens their mouth is really where they're at. And so don't be taking it personally. If she's giving you a lot of anger and, and calling you different names, detach, relax. I'm going to teach you how to navigate this uh, effortlessly, but don't take it personally. It's just reflecting how your wife's feeling. She's over, overloaded, overwhelmed, and she's taking it out on you. You don't need to take it personally. And what you really need to do here is you also need to, so very important to rebuild the emotional safety in the marriage is you got to eradicate the blame and shame in the relationship. So if she's getting angry, you, you don't want to start going, well, you're always like this. You're always angry and it's all your fault because this is what she's doing to you. You cannot do the same thing. You cannot fight fire with fire. And this is probably what got you in, into this place where you're at at the moment, not being able to navigate difficult situations effectively, uh, conflict effectively and using blame or shame. Guys, there should be no blame or shame. 
in any marriage, blaming and shame just keeps you stuck. You shouldn't blame your wife, shame her, and she shouldn't be doing it to you, and you should definitely not. Let's be honest, guys. Who do we do it most to? We do it to ourselves, right? Um, so let it go. If you're like someone who's watching this video and you've realized, okay, the mistakes that you made in your marriage, it's okay, brother. You're here learning a new process. You're going to get better. Uh, you're moving forward. It's okay. Don't blame or shame yourself and do not blame or shame your wife. And I want to be really clear. Here. This is not tough love. When you blame or shame your wife, you're like, oh, you're this, you're that. <clears throat> this, that's not tough love. Tough love is the communication guide using that uh, effectively. That's tough love speaking to sensitive subjects and raising the bar and calling her out on toxic behavior. That's tough love, not blaming or shaming. <clears throat> and brother, you need to learn how to navigate conflict effectively. Like I said, you haven't known how to, you know, de-escalate situations when she's getting worked up. You haven't been able to really listen to what's going on for her to validate her emotions. Now, I've got a different training that explains exactly how to do this. I'm going to link it up above so you can learn how to navigate conflict effectively and rebuild the emotional safety in your marriage. Because I would say out of all these steps here, this is the, probably the most important one because by build, rebuilding the emotional safety, this allows the connection. At the moment, you're feeling that distance. That's because there's no emotional safety. She's not opening up. There's that big wall. We need to take that wall down. And the way you're going to do that is by following these steps that I've just outlined now. And finally, so you've gone through all the other four steps. Finally, this is what you want to do at the end. Do not do this at the beginning. You need to do this at the end is you need to speak to her fear. So you've gone through the, the different, uh, the four, there's four phases on the road to reconciliation. If you want to know what reconciliation looks like and those phases that you need to go through, I'm going to link that up above now. So this is literally coming to the end when you're getting into the reconciliation. It's the fourth phase. Your wife is probably still going to have some fears. She's going to be a little bit concerned because it's taken her years to get to this point. And now after you follow my process and you've done all these, taken all these steps, she'll see you've changed. She'll see like, she, she'll realize you can't have a better man, but there'll still be something niggling in the back of her head of, okay, if I go back, has he only changed because I've said I want out? And if I go back, is he just going to go back to old ways, the old ways? And brother, I need to let you know, you're not going to go back to the old ways. If you follow my process, this arc system, you, it's a transformational process. There is absolutely no way you can go back to the old ways. So you need to be confident in this. So speak to her fears. So you need it when she's when you start seeing so watch the video for the on the road to reconciliation and when you start seeing she's showing the signs that she's coming back around she's curious and she's being playful and flirting with you then it's time to have a conversation say look I know you're worried that things will go back to the way they were they won't we've got this when your wife is wanting to reconcile with you but she's got these fears you've got to literally coach her you've got to be the confident one knowing that you can make this work together you cannot show up going oh I know maybe maybe this Maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. No, you need to be dead certain that you can make this work. Because you can. If you follow these steps, you will. But you've got to speak to her fears. So acknowledge what she's going through. Let her talk it out a little bit. Like, oh, I'm worried that if we get back together, you'll just turn back to the old ways. Yeah, I hear you. We've been through a lot, but we've got this. Let's do this. We've got this. Let's give this another shot. And this is how you come to then re reconnecting with your wife and reconciling. All right, guys, so at the beginning of this video, uh, I told you you're going to get the opportunity to enroll in my free maths class. In the free maths class, you're going to get to begin the real change process necessary to save your marriage and to process those emotions. I'm going to teach you the secret to reconciling with your wife that no one else is talking about. And you're going to learn the four steps you need to take for her to see your change. Now, you can find the link down below. Click there, enroll today, and begin that process of re real change so you can reconcile with your wife. And finally, if you haven't done so already, uh, like I said, this, I've got this amazing support group, marriage support group for dads, a uh, free Facebook group filled with a wonderful community of dads committed to avoiding divorce and reconnecting with their wife. You can find the link below. Join us today and I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you've got any questions at all, post them down in the comments and let me know what have you been trying to reconnect with your wife and how's it going? Now, if you found this video valuable, do me a favor, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and smash the bell button to be notified each Tuesday when I release a new video. Now, with all that being said, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.